set. And away they go from the 1800 meter marker. As a guy, turn of the tide, told you so. And then comes the scores. Prime victim, Go West McGraw, about four lanes from top to tail, as turn of the tide takes them to the 1500 meter marker. In second is the favourite, Asagai, Discourse and Told You So. The grey is Go West McGraw and at the back is Crime Victim about six lengths off the leader. And it's Turn of the Tide who sets the fractions with those blinkers on. The favourite has the green sleeves, that is Asagai. The grey, Go West McGraw on the move, going around them. Told You So is between horses, then Discourse and Crime Victim about six lengths from first to last. Turn of the tide continues to lead it as they go to the 1,000 meter marker. Asagai and Go West McGraw, not much between those two in second and third. This course has the white sleeves, that's at the rail. Told you so on the outside. And crime victims, the trailer now 10 lengths off the leader as Turn of the Tide just steps it up now. Turn of the Tide gets away by five. Asagai second. Go West McGraw is getting the wake up call. Discourse on the inside. Then crime victim and told you so. Top of the lane, 500 meters to go. Turn of the Tide by four or five. Asagai the first one to challenge. Go West McGraw is the gray. Discourse towards the inside. Turn of the tide. Asagai now goes through down the inside. Go West McGraw on the outside of that one has told you so. But it's Asagai past the 200 meter marker. Go West McGraw tries to throw out the challenge. But Asagai still goes. And Asagai is going to win it. Go West McGraw will stay on for second. But Asagai has won. Go West McGraw second. Third to crime victim. Told you so. Turn of the tide and discourse. Yashawi's Golding from Riverton Stud and Alistair Gordon, Asagai, Alec Forbes they end up being victorious. Second career win from 15 outings has been really ultra consistent and was always prominent and took the lead at about the 300 meter mark and then races away from the opposition. So Asagai victorious, Go West McGraw second, Crime Victim runs into third, then Told You So, further back Turn of the Tide and then Discourse. We take a look at that head-on, and you'll find Asagai was always prominent. They, they all move towards the middle outside of the track. Still under the hands is Asagai, and then races away from the opposition. Go West McGraw is the grey crime victim, the white nose band, black cap. But Asagai just one or two reminders with a stick in the left hand, and then punched out again, and Asagai is victorious. Until the eighth and last race, as I said, that eighth and last race is on the poly, and it's over 2,000 metres back to the studio. Son of Ashawis has come through to put them to bed. His name is Asagai from the Alistair Gordon stable as jockey Alec Forbes comes back to the winner's enclosure. Yeah, looked his race for the taking and he was right up there waiting to pounce. Absolutely, the race went very well for him, Sheldon. Uh, this race was made for him, you know, at the weights and whatever he had to win. And when he did, which, you know, we're very glad about. Well done to Alistair and Nicolette, well done to the owners. It's been a yeah, long time coming for this guy. He's really honest and tries his best but it's good to get that second one out the way. Nice when they get a bit of confidence. He's been taking on some of the tougher opposition, so it looks well for the future. Yeah, absolutely. He's running against much tougher than this, and he always runs right there. So, you know, he's not just going to end up a two-time winner. He'll win more races. Congratulations. Thanks very much. Let's get Nicolette into the picture Yeah, We had a chat with you during the week, and this seemed to be his race to lose. Yeah, no, this uh, race is, was actually made for him, a novice plate. I mean, he's always been knocking on the door. He's always had one or two to beat him every time. They keep pu pushing him up a few points every time he runs second or third. So this was made for him, this race, and he ran a cracker. Easy horse to work with back home? 
Yes, he is. He's such a laid-back horse. Nothing really worries him. Uh, we gave him the break after he ran a bad race at Scottsville. Came in running our second a week ago, and he came out and won today. And I just want to say well done to the owners, Roland and Celia, and Sidwell and Joburg. Um, I'm happy for them. They've been patient. They've given us the time for the horse, and well done to them. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Let's get Roland and Celia into the picture here, making the trip worthwhile. And you had to come dressed for success today. Yeah, I did. Um, we were a bit worried. Um, geez, my voice is... <laughs> Look, I screamed this horse home, and uh, I knew he was a big runner today. And uh, I'm just glad that he won. And uh, I see you tipped it on the TV. You, uh, you, 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 gave, you made it a good thing. And, uh, yeah, just happy to Alistair, Nicolette, everybody from the yard. And, yeah, great work, guys. Proud of you. Cherry on the top, well done. Absolutely. I just want to say hello to Uncle Les, Richard, Dylan, Lebo, all the boys at West End Racing. And Shoals, we got the money. <laughs> there we go. They got the lot. So the party begins. The party begins with number one, Asagar. Well done to all concerned. The son of Ashawis. He's come through with flying colors this afternoon.